All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office getting ready to head down to the Clinton House Plantation tomorrow to take part in the uh, Tar Heel Challenge put on by Mr. Donnie Flo. Uh, big shout out to Mike Sexton and the gang uh, at the Clinton House Plantation, which is really cool. Um, so, uh just another big shout out to the guys over at callaway ballistics who's hooking me up with the 124 hollow points uh callawayballistics.com use the uh, discount code of kb32 get free shipping on two orders at 200 dollars. but thanks how i really appreciate that it means the world to me i haven't deserved it because i haven't done a lot of videos trying to promote you guys but i really appreciate it we'll do that more moving forward also big shout out to blake wilkes and uh val who's coming down from new york to shoot with us okay so what am I doing today? Because I thought I covered the weaklings who are trying to take over our world uh, in yesterday's video. And I guess lions, tigers, and bears did not get a lot of attention. But protesters take down our flag will. So anyway, I'm sitting here in my office doing my work usually this morning. And my wife comes in. She goes, you got to see this. So... Uh, I want to share this with you guys. Uh, this is pretty well must, one of the most disgusting things in the world. Okay, so if you want to protest, that's fine. These jackasses think, and this is where I get into the whole thing. These are the people who have never done anything in their entire lives. And I want you to look at all these people saying from the, sh the river to the sea and Palestine will be free. You know what? I don't give a shit, okay? Palestine, go, go screw yourself. Y'all go do whatever you want. But when you bring it to our soil, when it hits home, that's when I get a little angered, and I especially get angered uh, <laughs> when you fuck with my flag. So anyway, let's take a look at this. This is pretty interesting. I'm going to make some commentary as we go through. Stand by. All right, so here you see a bunch of little turds uh, doing their things. Well, this one chick's got her shaved head. All these guys probably smell like weed. Uh, they're all having a big fucking party. This chick over here on the, on the top left and her pink hair. And all these assholes, they have no idea that if you are in Palestine right now, uh, living under Palestinian Hamas rule, these dumbasses wouldn't be able to wear the clothing that they're wearing. Yet they're trying to preach on with us. So right here, the cops have come in, which I love. There's the chancellor for you, uh, Chapel Hill. It's the first time somebody's got some balls to actually do something like this. And this is literally, this affected me so badly. I had tears in my eyes. And it, all the military, the guys, the veterans out there, I think you'll agree with me that when somebody messes with our flag or it takes down an American flag and replaces it with a Palestinian flag. And these jackasses, if they're so stupid with their damn telephones and everything else over here, the whiners, the little bitches and everything else. And here comes the American flag. Thank God it's going on. And here's a bunch of fraternity boys, probably sportsmen. They're out there cheering on USA, USA. There's the chancellor. God bless him. He did the right thing. Uh, I guess, what is that? The Columbia University up in Washington. They're still trying to figure stuff out. But when you give somebody, this is a video by Travis Long, by the way. But when you give somebody the leeway in which they did, these people will go to no length. And it's the problem. No one's telling them no. Because they, this, is the, this is the pat on the back. This is no person's a loser. This is the group of people who are just... They will never amount to anything in their entire life other than just whatever piece of crap they are. In other words, do you have the time to do that? Oh, it's real popular now, but later on in life, when your video is out there and you're trying to get a job, the sure as shit, I'm not hiring you. And I know a lot of other people who are not going to hire you as well. So when somebody takes down my flag, your flag, our country's flag, and plants another flag, I cannot tell you how angered I am when I see this. It infuriates me. I am fired up, and I had tears in my eyes when my wife showed this to me. This shit's got to stop. Hey, man, you want to protest? Do you what you want. This is bullshit. This is taking over. This is an occupation. Why don't we treat these assholes the same as they did for the January 6th, folks? Makes sense to me. Unreal. But look at them. Put, the, put your mask down. Let your faces be seen. Free Palestine now. Hey, man, ask the Syrians about Palestine. The Palestinian folks, just ask. Anyway, with that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is something that really chapped my rear end. I, I thought I was going to do a video about guns today. I'm actually uh, doing some reloading, and I cannot wait to see, hopefully, this weekend, things go well. 
No malfunctions is what we're looking for. So with that being said, guys, I, I, I can honestly tell you right now that I, I know a bunch of my veteran friends and my brothers out there cringe at these little tie-dye wearing scarf schmog pieces of shit and what they're doing. Protesters remove American flag. Sickening. We always end up with this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And in the infamous words of the great Cobra Burnout, boom, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.